what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel today we have an update on the van have you guys seen my van new stickers coming soon uh we got a little bit of an update here so let's take a look and see i sold some stuff on ebay y'all and with that i was able to order some of the new parts i sold about 300 dollars worth of stuff i'll try to put some screenshots up here sold about 300 dollars worth on ebay and with that money i turned around and ordered parts for the van now first up plugs and wires we got dropping shit uh, got a new distributor cap uh, for those who don't know what a distributor cap looks like because you're young and you weren't around in the 80s 90s 70s 60s whatever this is a distributor cap spark plugs go in the engine those wires then come to this also got a rotor button goes inside the distributor cap new wipers these are $40 a piece if you can believe that I'm a firm believer in quality costs and with that comes the term bougie as my wife would call me uh, I also got replacement headlights I told you guys in the first video that one headlight was out I went ahead and ordered two figured if I'm going to swap one out I might as well swap them both that's gonna be easy let me turn you around here this is the headlight in question it's it's full of condensation. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but anyways, it's just gonna be a couple of screws, remove this cover, and then I don't know what it's gonna take once I get this cover off, but we'll see. Should be just plug and play, a couple of screws or bolts. Shouldn't be a problem. Same thing on this side with this guy. This one's working perfectly fine, but gonna go ahead and swap it out anyways. I will at some point replace these turn signal lights, uh, but they're working, so not a big deal right now but they just you know i don't know if you can tell they're just kind of faded and lots of little tiny tiny cracks in there uh just from sun damage so i will replace them but uh for now right here guys this is the distributor cap i've already popped the clips on them but there's the rotor button inside there so we're going to replace the rotor button the distributor cap itself all the wires we're gonna replace more stuff falling off the trees we're gonna replace these wiper blades you can see i mean that's bad place those wiper blades in the headlight update on the grill with the uh crack grill here i found brand new replacements online for about 40 dollars that is a super cheap easy fix i told you guys that in the first video and you doubted me do not ever doubt me i am the professor of truth also update on the air cleaner box let me just show you guys this is the original air cleaner box and it was cracked it's broken in a lot of pieces uh you can see here this is still holding part here it's missing uh they literally had this thing held with duct tape that has to be replaced and i found they don't make this anymore it is discontinued you cannot get one from ford i checked ebay there's a guy on eBay with just this top cover for $150. Nobody has the bottom part. I'm not paying $150 for that. I found one at a junkyard for $35. It's about an hour away from me. I will be getting that one. Uh, this piece here is good. The hoses are good. The bracket's good. Air filter will need to be replaced. That thing is disgusting. First up, we're going to start with these headlights and go ahead and get them swapped out all right so i told you guys that i made enough money on ebay to buy these parts we're talking about today and the parts themselves ran right at three hundred dollars three three oh three or three twelve something like that 
but O'Reilly's had a discount code that if you got things shipped straight to your house instead of in-store pickup, it was going to be 15% off. I think it was Sunny15 was the code. Either way, so that saved me 15% off, took me down from like $312, $313 to like $260 something i don't remember the the number exactly i'll try to put a screenshot up so i sold some things and then placed the order simple as that i know all the mechanics out there today like to use power tools and things like that when they're working on vehicles but i'm kind of old school i prefer doing everything with my hands uh that's just how i was taught i guess i know this isn't the fast way to do it but i like to be more hands-on It's getting hot out here y'all beautiful saturday i think it's supposed to be in the 80s today here in the midlands of south carolina all right so probably gonna need to replace this soon i don't know let's see i don't know if you guys can see these these screws but this top one is in pretty rough shape so we're probably gonna have to replace that soon not going to worry about it today, but uh, in the near future, I'll replace that. There's a spring on here that does not want to let go. There we go. There we go. All right, there's the old headlight. Again, this one does still work, but we're replacing the bad one. Might as well replace them all. And look at that beautiful new headlight. All right, we're gonna take this blue plastic protects her off. It's pretty, but we don't need it. Y'all hear that frog? The benefits of living in the country. Y'all, I'm starting to sweat. Guys, I dropped the spring and I can't find it now. see it I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it oh, oh got my hand on it spring pain in the ass one thing I'm noticing here is that the plug on the back I don't know if it needs to be replaced or if it's just a pain in the ass in general But it's going to be a pain in the ass to put on but we'll see one way or the other i don't know it's on i guess before i close this thing up i'm gonna go grab the keys turn the lights on see if this one works because that plug's a little iffy back there uh but yeah one second i'll be right back all right i got the key you guys are gonna know before me maybe i'm assuming you'll be able to see that let me go turn it on You see that it is on that's awesome i'm gonna turn the camera off swap the other one out and i'll come back to you guys all right i just got the right side headlight out and i was telling you about guys about how much condensation was in there can you see that it's literally pulled up in there that's crazy that's ridiculous 
I have a feeling it's probably why this one went bad. You can see there's build up residue where these connections are just sitting in water. I'm sure during a hard rain, this thing probably was filling up. But anyways, I'm gonna get it swapped out. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, you should be able to tell now, both headlights are on, got them swapped out, everything's looking good. Both power up, now on to the wiper blades. All right, guys, so I went with the Rain-X Silicone Advantage. Advantage. These are 22 inches, and these are $40 a piece at O'Reilly's. Uh, I like top of the line stuff, as I mentioned before, so I go with the best. Uh, these are pretty simple swap. I'll show you guys how to do it now. So this old one, as you can see, I mean, it's slam wore out. These just pop off. These are the old school pin style. That just pops off. But I mean, you can see this thing is, this is in rough shape. Now, this Advantage, this Rain-X Advantage, these are pretty simple. With this pin style, you're gonna have to squeeze these sides, lift this thing open, pop this guy off, and there's your pin holes. I know it's not wanting to focus, sorry y'all. Uh, but these are your pin holes, and that's what you're gonna use here. So, you're just gonna slide this guy on. And this particular one's going in the big hole. Slide it on all the way, all the way down. Now, it comes with this spare piece. Can you guys see that? Comes with this spare piece. This is gonna snap in place of the one we removed. Over top, click it in, it's now secure. And then spin this piece that we originally spun back, click it into place, and that's it, she's done. Perfectly good windshield wiper. Now I'm gonna go do the other side. I'll be right back. All right, guys, both wiper blades have been replaced. Both headlights have been replaced. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get to the plugs, wires, and distributor cap and rotor button. It looks like there possibly is some rain coming and I've gotta also go and get ready for my whatnot auction today, selling a bunch of hats at 3 p.m. And it is now 20 after one. So I got about an hour and 40 minutes to get ready for the show. I need to shower, wash up, and hopefully I'll see some of you guys there on whatnot. But thanks for watching. Next video, we will get these distributor cap wires and all that stuff swapped out. Um, hopefully you guys learned something. I know not everybody has a 92 E350 club wagon, but if you're ever looking 92 to 2007, I think a lot of these are going to be identical parts. So if you ever decide to get a van, you can always come back to these and check out some of these upgrades we're doing uh, to possibly help you with yours. But guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. You know I love you. Y'all go get your thrift on. I'm gonna see you in the next one.